All right, guys. So welcome back. I know, <laughs> I know you see a big brown box in front of you. I'm gonna remedy that in a second. Um, so I bought this used from a company. Let's see if I can get in here. There's oh, wow. like 500. Uh, I don't know. If they're gonna fall all over. Trying things. not to spill everything here. Oh, peanuts. <laughs> Wrapped up in more bubble wrap. very well. Um, so this is JL Audios. We call it a mid-grade speaker because they make the, uh, the WOV3 and they make the, uh, nuts inside? the W1 and then they make the W3 the W6 and the W7. So this is another W3. And I just kind of wanted some nice clean sound in my car. I don't have to use too much power for it. I can run them nice and smooth. Was there an item or something? I saw one of them. Yes. They're hiding in there. Dude, right off the bed, I already see something different. Huh. That's weird. Did they make them two times? Uh, I mean, they probably made them over the years. Like that one's probably newer. Because I think they put that on everyone. Alright. Hmm. So these are the W3s. And now, looking at them, they look fairly identical. Yeah. They're both used. I bought them both used. This is a almost $400 speaker right now. Uh, a few years back, it was like 250 pre-pandemic. Let me see if we can. Yeah, there we go. Like pre-pandemic, it was uh, like 250, and now they're 379. I just checked the price earlier today, and I'm just curious. Now he noticed something that I didn't notice before. I wasn't even aware of it. Yeah. But uh, there is a slight difference. This cone here has, let's see if I can adjust this here, this cone here has a GL Audio emblem, just a regular old classic GL Audio emblem, and this one here has a W3 GL Audio patented emblem on this one, so slightly different in that aspect, uh, the cones hmm. look the same. They have the little ridge patented cone. I think every so me everything looks just exactly the same except for that little um, emblem. The rubber surround. Oh, the rubber. And yeah, that another thing is JL Audio doesn't make a lot of rubber surrounds, and I think this is the only speaker they make hmm. that has a rubber surround. And I believe this is a. I tried looking it up, and I couldn't find a whole ton of information because I. Don't, I think they don't share a lot of their patented stuff. But uh, I think this is a dual slug. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the motor is a dual slug. Uh, there's no venting here. No venting on the bottom there. And let's see. This one I believe is no venting either. Yeah, no venting. All right. So let's see if that's the it's all about quality sound. So whatever they did to this, it says that they have a patented cooling technology. So whatever it is, they know what they're doing. They've been around for like 50 years. They're not going anywhere today or tomorrow or another probably 50 years from now. They'll probably still be around making W10s. Um, W10s. So I'm going to put this inside of my large uh, dual box and we're going to set them off and see what they do. So we'll be back guys. 
well, the, there's not much to really tell about them. I mean, they have. Oh, what's the uh, the impedance? Or whatever. Uh, two ohms. So oh, it, two ohms. Yeah, they have single. So it should be single. So one ohm when you yeah. wire. They have single uh, tinsel leads here. They're not anything special. Uh, they go right into the, which is another odd thing. They go right into the voice coil. They usually go on the cone. into the cone and down to the voice coil. So that's a little bit different. Um, I mean, there's plenty of flex room for the for the tinsels. Uh, these are, I'm going to say 10 gauge wire can slip right into these terminals here. I kind of look like you're looking at the gear. That's about one. it. That's the new one. That's about it. Oh, they got stickers. The what? They got a sticker. Oh, yeah. Well, I think it came from a pawn shop. Ah, uh, that's all right. Yeah. But you see, I throw these in a box. So we're going to put them inside of a box, guys. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys. So I did the video yesterday with these two speakers, and I made a mistake, and I had them wired in series and not in parallel, and that's my fault. So they were getting like half the amount of power that they should have been getting, and they sound like a completely different speaker now. So I'm going to show you the speakers again. I'm going to bring them inside the car. I have the. Uh, Let's get it on. Definitely tell it's more consistent. Yesterday, guys. Um, so I'm gonna get this video back. back. I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna get it back to you guys. Uh, there's a new Toro video coming out for you guys. Toro Tech Gears 12. It should be launching anytime. And as always, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace. All right, guys, so welcome back. I got the JLs, uh, the W312s in the box right now. Um, 
I gotta say, sound quality wise, they're okay. Um, What's going on? Uh, they're 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 iffy. I don't know what to say. They weren't uh, as loud as I thought. I thought, yeah, I thought they were gonna be a lot louder bass wise than they are. And now I've also, but I mean, boxes it, make a really huge difference. Yes. Like a huge difference, especially if it's ported, not ported. This box is, I think, altogether like a cubic foot larger than they recommend it. So and that's ported. That's one thing. I think they recommend like a 175 for a ported box. And this is like a four cubic foot box <laughs> yeah, it's, around. It's like two cubic foot for each for each sub. Yeah, so it's it's well over their recommended size. And that could be the reason why they don't sound super good. And as soon as I start really like getting some bass, it seems like the woofers are I don't, I, I'm gonna put them on and we'll start demoing them. Yeah. I mean, they work, they sound good because they all like focus on you know, sound quality, which is pretty good. Uh, I could probably use another mod. Probably. Now we're not hitting no 140 dB with these things here. I probably not even like 135. It's probably yeah in the probably 130, 130 somewhere. All right, so. And he's gonna suck that like you started this channel with pretty much. Or yeah, GL, that's what I started the channel with the WOV3 and the W6s. Now I know everybody's gonna say they're out of phase. Guys, I'm going to reassure you right now, they're not out of phase, okay? It's the camera. If you want to say it, one sub is broken in more than the other. And I think, yeah, the, one, of them, one sub is broken in more than the other, and not only that, one sub is hitting the wall, and the other sub has no wall to hit. So there's a, a lot of differences with the speakers and the box. So this is what we were talking about earlier, is the jail audio symbol here. That's their classic jail audio symbol. That's the W3 symbol. So my son Aiden came to join us out here. So we might as well uh, lock it up and we'll do a quick DB test. We'll see how they sound in the car. I'll leave this song playing here. All right. so I'm going to go start my, uh, my specialty setup. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I want to do that. What are you talking about? My car. All right. Give me a second here. What? Alright, sorry about that guys, let's go check, my son's waiting here so we can go finish our stuff we need to do. Alright, let's back this up. 
me one second. Alright, here we go. Higher than that. Three, two, that's it. One three. We go. Just barely tap it. Alright, guys. So that's that. In a nutshell. We'll be back. I've got some more surprises for you guys. So make sure you guys don't forget, like, share, subscribe, guys. Each other.